아, 저 괜찮아요. 어, 왜요? 취할 것 같아서? 취해도 되는데? <웃음> 실수도 해도 돼요? 
¡Lotería! Señorita. ¡Ay! ¡Ay, asustaste! ¿Cómo está? Hola. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? Mejor. ¿Qué coincidencia verte aquí? Pues estaba en, en el coche y te vi y decidí parar a saludarte. ¡Qué bien! Me gusta tu bolsa. ¿Neta? Sí. ¿Te gusta? Mucho, sí. De hecho, me encanta. Quiero, quiero una así. Bueno, pues tengo que seguir vendiendo boletos. Vamos por un café. Porfa. Tengo que chambear. Yo sé, yo te ayudo. Te, te ayudo con, con, con los boletos. ¿Me vas a ayudar a vender? Sí, soy una gran vendedora. Soy muy convincente, de hecho. Neta. Ve, te estoy convenciendo de ir. <risa> Pero me ayudas a venderlos, neta. Sí, órale. Dale. You were fucking your tail between Aaron and was running for you. Go give love to your body. Okay, and this is a story about the time I went on a date with an older woman. So as you guys know, I've been doing quite a lot of dating stories recently. There was a period in my life where I went on quite a lot of dates with lots of people, but as per my stories, some of them didn't really work out very well. I'll try dating somebody who's a little bit older and maybe like we'll get on a bit better. So I was 21 at the time, so I was dating in the age of like maybe 21 to 28. And this woman, I believe, was 36. Not old at all <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. I myself am a bit of an old soul, so I thought, well, what can go wrong? So we've been chatting for a while, getting on, so we get to this restaurant, and it's winter, so I've got quite a lot of clothes on. I get to the restaurant, I clock her, she's just arrived, I'm in my coat, and she says to me, oh, it must be cold outside, are you okay? Yeah, uh, I'll just take my coat off and then we'll sit down. She was like, oh, you must, you must be cold. Gives me a little bit of a rub. Shall we sit down then? So I take my coat off and we sit down and we're looking at the wine menu and I'm like, what are you going to get? And she says, I'm going to get this. And I say, oh, well, great, you know, let's have, let's get a bottle. Let's get a bottle of wine. And then the food comes. So I've ordered quite a large meal and I can't finish it all. So we're chatting, the date's going really nicely. And then I put my knife and fork down on the side. And she looks at me and she's like, you should eat that. And I said, oh, uh, I'm not really hungry. So I think I'll just leave it. She goes, no, you should eat it. Eat up, eat up. I was thinking, I'm back at home. Jesus, that's something that my mother would say. She was like, go on eat up, go and eat it, have it. And I was like, I don't want it. She was like, no, you do. She was like, look at you, you need to eat. You need to eat, come on. She was like, I, I can't live with myself if you're not eating this, go on, have it. A little bit weird. She was like, can we get a doggy bag, please? Do a doggy bag for that food. Yeah, she's gonna take it with her, we're gonna take it back with us. To be honest, I think it was something like fish and chips. I really couldn't take it back with me. It would have been absolutely disgusting. Like, come on, we'll take it back. And so that gets taken away. And I'm like, I really, no, 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 I don't want it, I don't want it. <laughs> 
we move past this and I'm sort of sitting there and she goes, do you want dessert? And I'm like, I, I really don't want dessert. That's the whole reason why I stopped eating my food in the first place, because I am full. I said, um, so when did you move down to London then? She goes, 2002. And I said, oh, interesting. She said, what were you doing in 2002? I said, not much really, just probably going to primary school or something. So the conversation dries up a little bit. So I said, so you um, you design stuff, that's that's what you do as a living. She said, yeah, 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 I design stuff. I've got me in business, uh, you know, I've been doing that for a while. I was like, that's great, that's really great. She said, what do you do? And I was like, well, uh, I've been doing some stuff for the X Factor recently. I said, last night I actually, um, I actually minimised the size of Simon Cowell's neck on Photoshop because he was unhappy with it before we put it on Twitter. I was like, oh, that's... Uh, that's unusual. I said, do you go out much? What what do you do? And she said, well, no, I don't, I don't really, I don't really go out that much anymore. Like, do you, do you go out a lot? And I was like, yeah, I go, go out quite a lot, actually. I said, I threw up down myself, actually, last night at a bar. Well, you should really be careful about what you eat, you know, you've got to look after yourself. And then in the end, I escaped to the toilet and I'm thinking, do you know what, this is not, this isn't going to work out. This is not going to work out for me. So I've already said to her, I think we're going to leave after this. And I get out the toilet and she's there. Uh, standing there with my coat like oh i know i know that this doesn't this hasn't really worked out but come on let me put it on you let me zip you up zip <laughs> me up no <laughs> that didn't really work out for me actually um either <laughs> interested in me but I had told her that I was only interested in men it was very clear and we talked about it and then it was done and then we just talk about something else the only thing that I know. we had almost six months of going to dinner hanging out bowling and I reached a point where I realized I wanted to be with her and the only thing I felt like if that wasn't gonna happen, I needed to step away. That night, she said, I can't do this anymore. And I immediately just said, okay, okay, fine, because I was like, what am I doing to this person? And this isn't fair, and she's so clear on how she feels and in her life, and it's, it's nothing. And here I'm gonna be like, well, I just, can I try? And I don't know how it's gonna be right, and it's just gonna be like a waste of time. When she said, this is done, I went into this zone where I was so sad. Then it sunk in, really. I was like, I don't know how to go forward in my life without this person. She called me and said she'd like to come over and talk to me about things. I knew if I don't say yes to this in my life, then I am not following my feelings and my heart. She just sat down next to me on the couch and just said, I've missed you and just been miserable. I said, I, I have feelings for you. I would really love to try this. And then from that night until now, truly have been inseparable.
alone past <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I... Oh... <laughs> Well, I'm